Today, we have a lot to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, including some amazing first league benchmark scores. We now have additional proof that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 will not have a built-in S Pen slot, and with so many sources reporting the same thing, it is extremely plausible. Now that Samsung has opted to focus on weight reduction and has reduced the thickness of the Fold 5 by 0.8mm, a S Pen cannot fit inside the phone. Of course, it will support the S Pen in the same way that previous iterations of the Fold have. We also have other sources confirming that it will be IPX8 water resistant, which, although not the IP67 that we were hoping for, is nonetheless noteworthy considering the new water drop type hinge that now folds entirely flat. For those who are unaware, the fundamental difference between IPX8 and IP67 is dust resistance. Although the Galaxy Z Fold 5 can be completely submerged underwater, it is not dust resistant. Leaked benchmarks for the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 5 reveal some pretty outstanding Geekbench 6 numbers. When compared to the S23 Ultras, which have a single core score of 1578 and a multiple score of 5081, we obtain a single core score of 2030 and a multiple score of 5213. Now, it seems to be utilizing the same chipset, so we're not sure whether these are merely optimizations or if the chip has been modified. It's also worth mentioning that, since these benchmarks are so early in the timetable, there's no way to know whether they're accurate. In addition, a cinematic trailer for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 has been produced by Technizo Concept in Super Rotor. This film was developed based on all of the existing leaked facts. As you can see in the video, it appears to be very similar to its predecessor, but the notable differences are that the device folds completely flat together, and secondly, we have camera lenses similar to the S series where the lenses come out of the rear panel and there is no separate camera module. Now, there are a few photos in this clip that do contain the S Pen, but as we discussed at the beginning of the video, although the Fold 5 will support the S Pen as normal, it will not be putting it within the phone, unlike all of the prior speculations that stated it would. While it is a wonderful gadget, it is unlikely to warrant an upgrade from the 4, but it will be an excellent pick for anybody seeking for their first folding phone or upgrading from a much older fold. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.